Hi there, Laura Dankoff here from PathToHealthAndHealing.com. Today I want to talk to you about why hormones and chemicals don't mix. Hormones um, are, are hormones are very sensitive to any kind of changes in our internal or our external environment. So chemicals, as we know, are everywhere. We can't avoid them. They're in our clothing. They're in um, our environment other, everywhere in, in plastics and pesticides um, and it, so it really becomes a challenge to avoid chemicals and we just can't completely. So certain chemicals that I would recommend try to avoiding uh, because they are xenoestrogens, they disrupt hormone balance, I'm seeing an ever increasing number of women with estrogen dominance and all their other hormones are low. I've seen this on testing. Uh, one of my favorite tests to do to evaluate hormones is called the Dutch test or dried urine test for comprehensive hormones. And this takes a very in-depth look at how you are actually producing and metabolizing those hormones. How are you breaking them down? And what I'm finding is, is that um, an alarming number of women are having uh, these high estrogens and then their progesterone, their testosterone, their DHEA um, are all on the low side. And this is a dangerous uh, mix because when you're estrogen dominant, this makes you more inflamed, may, may make it harder for you to lose weight, put you at risk for um, things like fibrocystic breast, breast cancer, uterine fibroids, abnormal periods. Um, so a lot of things can be happening. It can affect your mental health as well, make you um, more emotional or anxious. So there's a lot of things that can be going on. So five chemicals that are known to mess up your hormones, first of all, is BPAs. BPAs are plastic. Um, they're everywhere. Bisphenol A is an environmental environmental estrogen that can damage your endocrine system and lead to major hormonal disorders. Um, so we want to try to avoid those in plastics. I wouldn't even recommend BPA free plastics. It's better to drink from uh, glass containers, put your food in glass containers. Um, this is by far safer. Then there's dioxins. Dioxins are chemicals that uh, are found in industrial processing and they um, are really an environmental toxin. Um, they can cause cancer, reproductive and developmental problems, damage your immune system, and more than 90% of uh, human exposure is through food, mainly meat and dairy products, fish and shellfish. And while it's nearly impossible to avoid dioxin exposure, you can reduce your risk by uh, consuming it by avoiding certain things. Check the Environmental Working Group website. Make sure you're eating organic as possible um, always. Another one is mercury. A lot of people have, um, we have mercury in our environment in manufacturing. Um, people have amalgam fill, fill, fillings, um, thimerosal uh, that's in vaccines. There's a lot of places where we can get exposed to mercury and this impacts the hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid, adrenal, and gonads. All these are hormone producing glands, are very sensitive to this. Um, certainly look at dental work, or, or do you live near a coal burning plants or, or stoves? And then another one is percolates. Percolates are found from rocket fuel and also in fertilizer and it can contaminate um, the soil and our produce. Um, it can mess with the thyroid um, and an ever increasing number of women are, are found to have thyroid disorders. Um, so again, I'd recommend looking at ewg.org for more information and then try to, to protect your thyroid by incorporating sea vegetables like nori and dulce and iodized um, uh, Celtic sea salt or Himalayan sea salt uh, into your diet. Um, then there's uh, other chemicals known as PFCSs or perfluorinated chemicals. These are on nonstick surfaces. Um, 
you might see them as PFOA. And these are another one that can be a hormone disruptor. So my best advice to you is try to avoid these as much as you possibly can. Unfortunately, we all are gonna be exposed whether we like it or not, but there are ways that you can try to avoid the amount of exposure that you have. Like I said, um, eating whole organic foods um, is going to lessen the amount of toxic burden on your body. And all of these toxins, you know, your liver has to process and your, your liver is very, very important to hormonal balance as well. So you wanna eat healthy, you wanna sweat daily, get out and walk, get that lymphatic system moving. Um, if you have an infrared sauna, this is another great way to help your body detox, make sure you're drinking adequate water. And if you'd like to learn more ways of how to help your body detox healthfully with good results um, and what steps you can take to support that hormone balance better, I recommend you check out my 21 day hormone detox program. In there, I provide you with meal plans, um, shopping lists, more information on how to support your liver and more and to get your energy back and get you feeling better and hopefully end that brain fog and work on those things that are, that are disrupting your hormone balance and making you exhausted, causing the PMS symptoms. And this is a great way to kind of jumpstart things too if you're in perimenopause and menopause and what can help support you as well. Now I'd like it if you would like, share, um, or post a comment below. And I hope you found this information helpful and I wish you a great day. All right now, take care.